Hello and how are you? My name is Matilde Mubarak and I come here to our 12th video of uh, creating a complete inventory management system. We are going to do 40 minutes. As you can see, our account has started. So without, without wasting much time, let's go to our project and run it. So as you can see, I've already put my project in Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to go... I'm going to go ahead and run it. So I'll open my terminal and do PHP artisan serve like this. And then it will be able to do what? To run our project. So if I click here, it will be able to open our what? Our project. So let me open this Chrome where I'm logged in. I'm logged in as what? As a company owner. Think this is the one okay and then we'll be able to do what to proceed so this is our visual google chrome i'm looking as a company owner uh last time we stopped at this point where we could create uh, stock records and this stock record could go ahead and update what and update uh and update uh, these other what these other records uh so in this uh, lecture we're going to finish by mastering our dashboard we're going to master the dashboard and also master the whole system and create dummy data so in the next video we should be able to do what to uh, get started with creating the api as well as uh, creating the mobile application so let's do that so we're going to begin by mastering mastering means that you're perfecting everything to see that everything is now straight forward okay so i'm going to begin by mastering uh, let's begin by organizing the menu after organizing the menu we go ahead and master the tables because at least for the forms we have already mastered them we created while we are mastering the forms so we master the tables after mastering the tables then we come and master the what the dashboard itself and then after we create some dummy data okay and then after creating dummy data and then we, go, we see how we can do it we can proceed to the api itself so let's go ahead and do that so we begin by mastering the dashboard so here i'm going to log in as administrator and make sure that the dashboard is on top here the dashboard link on top of the menu so i'll come here to another browser i'll come to another browser this one here and i go to the project and i log in here as what as admin the username is admin and the password is admin then after doing that i'll go ahead and and and, and go to the menu so i'll come here to authentication and then come to what to the menu uh, menu and drag this one and put it under what under the dashboard so if i come and refresh here you'll see that the dashboard is on top and then followed by what by the stock items so let us master now the system beginning from bottom up to the top to make sure that all the tables are well organized and they are presenting data uh, properly we also implement the filters where necessary so that when uh, we put our system up there it should be like a final system that's what we're going to do right now so i uh, will go ahead and begin here from the financial period so you can see the table financial period at least for it it is uh final the table is okay and also if you come here to the what the the, the form the form is also okay uh so after doing that then you come to the employees the employees i think uh the table is still lacking so let's go ahead and master the employees table so i'll come here and copy this word employees then we go to our routes see where the routes are so the routes are here and then i'll come here to the controller of employees called employees controller so i'll go to the to the employees controller which is this one here let's so we're going to organize this table okay so let's begin by putting the quick search okay so i'll come here and put the quick search so you should be able to search your employees maybe by the names so let's go ahead and do that so uh let's go ahead let's come here here and then put here what you call uh quick search quick search and then maybe we can put search by name okay so you can search by name or the phone number or the last name so you can put here the field that you want to search by so i can remove this address maybe it is relevant 
uh, yeah, I think even I can remove the email. So someone can be able to search by one of these. So you can go ahead and put even a placeholder by saying placeholder and then maybe say search by name or by number. So by doing like this, you can go ahead and refresh. So you can see we have here where someone can search by the name or by the number. So after doing this, the next thing that we're going to do, uh, let's go ahead and remove this quick, uh, the bulk select. So to remove this bulk select, I'll go ahead and copy this and come here to remove uh, disable, but actions. So if I come here and refresh, the batch action will be disabled. Uh, so I'll come here and remove the ID and maybe I can leave the username. I remove the password. Okay, I can leave maybe the name. So the name should be able to appear here. So someone should be able to search someone by the name. They should be able to see the name. The next thing we can put here, uh, you can put here what you call uh this display okay you can display the first name and last name and then you can also maybe make it what uh suitable okay so if i come and refresh here you should be able to display the first name and last name so we can just maybe uh let's we can just leave and display the name okay let's just display the name okay and then you make it suitable so the avatar is the picture so we can go ahead and use the picture so i remember when we were on what on the um, uh, category controller category controller on category controller uh, store category controller this one we did something of a picture i think uh yeah we did something of a picture here so i can just copy the same copy it and then come back and remove this instead of putting just an avatar column so you can make this avatar to become a what the picture so it can be able to do what to be viewed so i can remove this what this hide so it can be viewed at the beginning so if i come here and refresh now we'll be able to do what to see the picture if someone has a picture let's try to put a picture to this one okay i think the picture is not coming let me use the image i think is it image or picture i think image Let's try and see. Uh, the image is not coming. Uh, let's fix that very fast. Why is the image not coming? Let's go ahead and edit one of these ones. Okay. Let's edit one of these one and then put the picture. All right, let's go ahead and put just a column and see what's in the avatar. It's supposed to be column, sorry, not picture, I think. Yeah, it's supposed to be column, not picture. All right, column, and then you can specify the width and height. Okay, you can specify the width and height like this. So if you're not going to put here the URL at the beginning, you have to remove the URL. So you can go ahead and have this particular way of uh, viewing things. So if you want it to have light box, you can go ahead and put what? Uh, light box, I think, like this, I hope. And then if you refresh, I think instead of image, you have to put the what you call light box, like this. And in case you want to click on the picture and preview it in full uh we can go ahead and uh, specify the width and height i think light box right it takes what it takes an array and then you can put here uh width as what as 50 yeah let's see yeah, the last box will take out an array. So you'll have uh, that kind of a picture. So that's what you call mastering. So you can put here maybe uh maybe photo. So it be the photo. Uh -huh. so that's what you call mastering. So you come here and remove remember password. We can maybe put here the date when someone joined. I can say maybe the date when someone registered. So you can put registered and then put display and put the date when someone was registered make it also sortable so if i come and refresh here the date when someone registered will be here the date when someone registered will be there 
I can go ahead and make this one to be at the last since it is not necessary. Uh -huh. Then we come here the last time when someone has updated that is not necessary, we'll remove it. The company ID, oh, that's another important thing. We have to display uh, users of a specific company ID. So remove this one and then come and say someone who is logged in, which is you, equals to admin user. And then we limit the grid to the company ID. So the person who is logged in as what? As a company ID. So if I come here and refresh, I'll be able to see my employees only i will be able to see my employees only okay so that is very important you have not to forget it the first name and last name you can remove this one since it's already representing the name phone number that is important phone number you can leave the way it is phone number two i don't think it is very important so you can make it hide by default you can make it hidden by default address i don't think address is also very important but you can let's see if we will have enough space and see if you can leave it there so if you come and refresh here uh address is there i think address is it can be there uh the address of person then you come here to six so this one come and call it gender and make it also uh so you can filter here you can put your article filter so where you can filter the male and female and then you come here and put um uh what you can put here uh male and make it present male and then put here comma and make female and also female and uh, then after doing that on top of that we can go ahead and also add sortable so it can be sortable so if i come here and refresh so i'll have this i can choose whether i want to see only the male ones or I can choose that I want to see all of them, something like this. So we can do that. Uh, DOB, DOB, we can leave it there also and just make it sortable. So just in case we want to know the oldest. And then maybe also status. So here on status, we can go ahead and put what you call using, we can put what you call um, label and then we use. Uh, so for those who are active, active we do what we put what we put uh, success and those who are inactive we put danger and we make it also suitable like this uh, so by doing like this if i come and refresh here uh, i should be able to do what to know the active one and non active one so by default, by default you can put here, if you want to put a default, so you can put here default and put danger. So by default it's going to be a danger like this. Alright, so after doing that, the next thing, the date when someone registered, I think that is okay. I think that is okay now. I think this is okay. This table can go like that. Right now we are doing the mastering, okay? So let's finish also the form. I see the form is still lacking, so let's go to edit and finish the form. So you have the first name, last name, agenda of someone, their phone number and also their address and also their date of birth and also uh, the status active or inactive and then the username i think uh, that is okay i think that is okay i think that is okay so i can say someone to be active so let me come here and put some dummy data some dummy data okay so i can make someone active or inactive and uh, let me go ahead and submit so at least uh so for active for active active we have uh, danger let's try info and see maybe danger is not reflecting since it is our primary color i don't know why i uh, have inactive and active okay active active is All right, so I don't know why it's not displaying, but okay, you can fix that. But if you use dot, let's try to see dot, if dot will work. Still, that is not working. Okay, you can fix that. Let's not waste our time there. All right, so that is, uh, we have mastered the table of employees. So when you're selling your product, someone can be able to see that. Okay, yeah, this makes sense uh, for me to have my employees here. 
all right so that is okay so we proceed we go ahead and master the table of store categories i think it's already mastered okay uh -huh. so maybe you'll go ahead and put the filters from the documentation you go ahead and master the table of what of uh, of uh, stock subcategory this was also already mastered look like it is mastered however you can also go ahead and put the filters and then we'll come here to stock items the stock items table is not mastered let's go ahead and master it so stock item controller will come stock item controller and then come to the form and then come here and then come here and say uh disable uh batch actions for me i don't like them <laughs> okay so i removed the batch actions i can say maybe the id should be sortable so in the stock item someone may need to know the id of a stock so come here and make it what and make it uh suitable all right like this so after doing this uh let's refresh so everything is okay so let's go ahead and see created art uh so created art let's go ahead and uh, put this one or just put maybe the data has created uh so you can make this one also uh suitable i always like this one to be at the last since it is important but not very important to be in the beginning so they created be here the last and should be what it should be suitable however we can make this date to appear much more decent by adding only the display i put i think um Larvae, i don't know it has something called date All right, let's see. Just get this one and also come here and add it like this. So that is the date, uh, well arranged. Uh, let's go back to our first column so we can remove this created art column uh, So okay, also here we have also skipped to have to make sure that we are displaying things for a particular company So you can just simply can and get the user who is logged in which can be accessed by and admin that and then also Limit the model to the use of someone who is logged in so you can remove this one company uh, So created by uh, this record may need to know who's who created it but this one it's better to be at the last so let's go ahead and do some display here and get the person who is create to create this record and display their name so let's put also this one at last uh before i mean let's put at the last here before the created art all right so we need the store category so we need to display here the store category okay so let's go ahead and display the store category so you can just simply put uh, display instead of just displaying the ID we can go ahead and put display uh, like this so you just simply we get the stock category so if it is null we return uh, if it is not null we return uh, the name of the stock category if it is null we return nothing so you can refresh here so we'll have here the stock what the stock category and then after doing that the next thing that we're going to put here is the stock subcategory so we'll just come here and put stock subcategory and also we can make this one sortable so let's go ahead and display so the stock subcategory like this okay so that's the subcategory also make it sortable okay we come here and put the financial period mm -hmm. financial period so the most important thing here is the name of the product and the picture so let's make this one to be at first at very first so immediately after the id we're going to put here the photo of the product we can also make it sortable so in case someone needs to know the product that don't have photos and then name of the product so you can put here product 
name or a stock item name something like that and make it so sortable so if i come here and refresh everything is fine okay but it's not right get financial period okay financial period it is having some issue all right so we'll have to get here uh financial period so say finance period and then you say find and then you find it here and then you find by passing this okay and then if you come here and refresh so we'll have here the what uh the financial period in all right so after doing that the next thing we have to put here the photo so we'll have to put here a light box let me come and copy the light box here that we did here on the product photo i mean on the play photo so i just come and copy this light box and come and put it here here okay so that is our light box you can also maybe specify the height if you want and say maybe 50. so if i come and refresh here I should be able to see the product photo if it has one all right so the next thing that we're going to do uh we're going to go ahead we have here the name of the product and then after what next we're going to have your store category there we go that's okay and then you have uh the stock item the description description you don't need to see it there we so you can hide it so you can make it hide so it can be hidden uh so the barcode uh, the backward we have not worked on that i think it's going to be pending for now uh we shall generate the backward later i think okay let's finish this table and we open the logic of the backward so you can also the backward is done so the backward you can also make it uh uh sortable uh-huh so let's put it here in front here Okay, so SKU, I think SK can also make it sortable, we can leave it there. Okay, uh, this one generate SKU, you can remove it. Update SKU, you can remove it. Uh, gallery, we can remove it for now, we don't need it. And then buying price, we can put it here, we can leave it there. And then make it also sortable and also selling price uh we can make it also sortable we can leave it here so you can be able to know the most expensive uh selling thing there so the current quantities you can make them sortable and also those are not what i require them so if you refresh here everything is all right i think this table is good enough for us uh so uh the next thing that we're going to do i see this category a subcategory they are repetition set aside at least category and only display the subcategory so i can come here to category and we hide it category category let's hide category here okay so everything should be now okay so maybe we can have this under this i think uh don't you have too much things here do you have too much things do you need barcode it's going to be another image financial period we don't need it because not all the time we need it uh financial period so you can hide it it should be only displayed when someone wants it I think i think that's okay so if i zoom out my table look like this i think uh, that is beautiful i think that's beautiful all right so let's work on the picture so let's come here to the form and then i try to upload the picture and you see if everything is all right let's say this is the product submit so the picture is there and it is fine that is beautiful all right so another thing that we need to do right now 
is the generation of barcode but i think generation of barcode so you can print it and attach it to the product ah so let me see the time that we have so you see if this time is sufficient enough to work on the barcode generation Or if you think uh, time is enough, we can go ahead and work with on the barcode generation. However, there is also dummy data generation. Let's just pause the barcode generation. You can do it uh, after we finish the what? Mastering the tables. All right, so you can see we have mastered this table. It looks now much more decent and uh, with uh, relevant data. So someone can be able to know the stock. Only thing that you may need to know, I mean, we may need to do right now here is to add the filters, okay? Let's go ahead and I teach you how and I show you how to add the filters. All right. So right now there are things that we may need to filter. For example, let's go through one by one. Let's say the first thing that we may need, maybe you may need to filter by the let's see the columns that are there. For example, you may need to filter by the category. Okay, so if one filter by the category, I uh, shall just simply come here. Just want to filter by subcategory, so just come here to this grid and then go ahead and put there filter so copilot will put all filters for me. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm going to explain all of them. So you see, here we now have an extensive filter, all right. So uh you can filter so the fact that we need to do here you may filter you may disable the filter by id so i've removed filter by id so we put a filter by the name so in case you want to search by the name you may search it from there but whoever we have already uh okay yeah you can search by the name from there so you can come here and search a product i mean a category which begins with, with this particular name which has the name a in it so you can search by name there so you can reset it so the, this filter from here. So we have put the filter, search by name. Uh -huh, so that's how I put the filter. So after putting that, let, anyway, let me explain. Just write filter and then write function and then open bracket and then say filter and then open curl bracket and then start adding the other filter things. So you can filter by the name. Okay, another thing we can filter by. Uh, so this is how you filter by the name. Just put, put it like and then you put what the, the name of the column and also uh, what you want the user to see uh, so here you can filter by the category id so you put your category id and then you say equal and then say category id then say stock by category id and then you come here and say select so you say select you, you get all the category ids all the subcategories however you may need the categories for this particular company only okay so let me get the person who is logged in from here user equals to you and then you put here uh, admin auth admin user and then here instead of just getting all you put where so that you should not get categories subcategories of other companies okay company id so here you're going to get all the what all the store categories and then plug the name and the name text and their id okay and then by doing like that you'll be able to do what to filter by what by company id that is saying um column name text all right let's put name only so you come and refresh now you can go ahead and search by what so if i want for vegetables only Go ahead and filter by vegetables and to show vegetables only. All right, so we have implemented the company. I mean the the, the filter by by what by by 
by still category you can go ahead and filter by the financial period so here get all the financial period and put here where and also make sure to implement the company the company uh, id so you get the financial period and then you make sure someone i mean now this will enable someone to be able to filter by the financial period that they have in their what in their company so if you want to see the stocks of a particular year you can come here and specify okay the next thing you can put here by created by so you can go ahead and filter by by the person who created this stock okay so here only that we need to put a where and specify uh, the person so instead of putting all just go ahead and put where others will show all the users all right so let me get here the person's name okay so here get the person's name and then i display it so someone should be able to do what to filter by person's name and then here you can go ahead and filter by what by the category so i'll just go ahead and implement this company thing here so by doing like this someone will be able to filter so i can remove maybe filter by barcode uh, that maybe can okay filter by sku that can make sense so i can put here maybe like so someone can be able to start to type in part of the sku and search and then i can remove this buying price selling price this maybe is uh, it's wasting time but in case you want to, to see the product that are in a certain uh, range you can also as well go ahead and do it and uh, implement that say for example i want those which are having uh, the buying price between okay so you can do like that so by putting between it will enable someone to search uh for the category i mean for the product whose buying price is between a figure that you're going to do what that a user will enter so you can put here for example selling price between and then make it is a decimal so and also do the same maybe for the current quantity so if you want the current quantity i mean the current quantity that are of product that are between a certain figure you can go ahead and do that so there's a lot that you can really do in this filtering by doing like this all right so you see that's it so by doing like that you'll we'll have enabled the user to filter okay so let me remove this where's name text what does it complain about put your name yeah so now someone can go ahead and filter so you see this is an extensive filter so you have to pause the video and understand how you can do this filter so if you want to learn more deep uh, about the filtering you have to go to the documentation of which i shared to understand how this filtering uh, can help or how you can implement this uh, filtering in your system so you see here i have an extensive filter so i can filter baby by grocery so if i want the product that are in grocery so you see i'm able to do what to filter like that all right so let's go to stock records i think this is now the mastering the stock record uh, table so let's go ahead and uh, do what and implement the stock record table so we'll go here to the stock record stock record controller okay so we, i will begin by coming to the what to the grid and then i limit this data to a specific company Right after doing that and then i come and make this one uh, suitable all right 
so after doing that i come and make this one uh the date when i display the date when this record was created so i can put here maybe the word date instead Okay, maybe this one I can put here. So the date when the record was created, I remove the updated at, I remove the company column. I come here and put a stock item of which this record was created. Okay. So I display the stock item name instead of what of stock uh, item just ID. So if I come and refresh here, you have to see the what the stock item name. All right, let me remove the batch select. All right. So what next? Uh, the stock category. So we may need to show the category in which this record belongs to and also the stock subcategory so instead of doing this i can just simply come to this thing that we did in here stock item controller and just come and copy this column and this so these two i just copy them the way they are i come and replace them here yeah i think that will be time saving so i can go ahead and see how i've done it and also the same so i remove the stock category columns so someone who created this record i think we'll have something like that already here so i'll come and copy the one with this record and then come and add it here okay okay so i think sku may not need it for now so you can keep it uh, hidden until someone wants it and then you come here the name of the product i think it should be it should go first the one that it needed first and then these others can follow so I put here uh, sortable so the name of the product that was sold so it should be coming here at first uh, so after doing that the next thing is the um, SKT is hidden the measuring unit this measuring unit you don't need it here you don't need it here measurement unit um, and then near the description you can make it hidden by default so the detail of that record uh, and then the type of a record uh, we can make this one what uh, a label and then say maybe it, if it is a sale if it, it is a success if it is damaged it is danger if it is expired it is warning it is lost it should be it is maybe info something like that so we, we we put those labels there so someone can be able to see by the use of what by the use of colors uh -huh, so maybe you can even use dot instead if you want uh, uh, to use the dots all right so the quantity this one is very important so the quantity i may need to display the quantity including the what including the 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 so I, I override the quantity and I display it and I put number format and then I attach the what the the measuring unit. So I'll come here and put here space and I put this and put measurement unit. What do I call measuring unit? Alright, so the selling price selling price um do like that number uh -huh, so i put the number format uh -huh, so another thing that we need, shall need to do is the what is the is the so I come here and put also uh the total sales so one more thing that we shall need to do 
is the what is the the currency the company should be able to set their what their currency all right so after doing that um okay so i think this is looks much more neat and i think this is the last call the last table so everything is much more uh it's really beautiful okay everything is really uh really beautiful uh so one more thing that you may need to do here is the totals you may need to put here the totals so you can come here and add what you call total columns so for example here on the selling price i mean on the selling quantity so you can come here and put what you call total row okay so you put total row you'll be able to sum up and then give you the amount if that thing is a figure this is called total row okay so this total row you can put it there and also maybe you can put it here on the total sales so someone can be able to know what they have been selling in that particular period so i think uh, yeah i think you see i can be able to know okay i have this and i have this in sales so i can go ahead and put the filters so i can go ahead and put here the quick filters the quick search So she'll be able to search maybe by the name of the products if you want to see what has been sold in that particular period. Ah, it'd be like that. Uh, so you can also implement the filter. So go ahead and implement the filter. So Copilot is helping me to do these things. So I can be able to know which particular category was this thing sold and also someone who created this and also uh the subcategory okay so if i come and refresh here i can be able to say okay i want something that was created by maybe things that were sold in this particular category and i search so the system will be able to search and then uh display so here you'll be able to know your total sales so that is so 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 nice and uh that makes it uh the whole of uh, mastering our what our uh, tables you see so that is so nice all right so now in the next video let us master the dashboard yeah i think let us master the dashboard and also allow the company to edit their profile and then we also change this dashboard and then we call it uh, a what a web dashboard and then the next video we begin the what with uh, creating the api and the mobile application all right so let's meet in the next video where we're going to now create things that should be on the dashboard when someone logs in what should they see all right so um let's meet in the next video and make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel so don't meet in the next video where we're going to master the what the dashboard